Hello everybody, happy whatever day this video is coming out on. Today, I was asked recently, how can I upload my resource to MC Market? Now, I wanted to do a tutorial video, because recently I've been doing a lot of Q&As, talking videos, just me hanging out, playing games and stuff. Not really tutorial videos on what the channel's based around, because I've kind of run out of ideas after doing daily uploads for four to five months. So today, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how you, what you need to upload a resource to MC Market. Now, MC Market is different than Spigot. Spigot is, you can upload free resources without approval. There is uh, more rules on Spigot than MC Market. MC Market has some strict rules, but they give resource makers a little more room to add stuff to their plugin. So let's talk a little bit about the rules different from Spigot to MC Market. Spigot does not like DRM systems, which means license systems and tracking systems and everything. Spigot does not like those. They're not allowed on premium resources on their site. They don't like them. While MC Market allows those, you do have to disclose that you have one in your plugin and pretty much give evidence of where this is located, which I'll give an example of when I'm going through the setup in a minute. But you do have to disclose this. You need to make sure you own all content on the uh, upload and everything. You need permission. If it's a fork, you need permission from the fork, the original person to upload it they do have more rules i'll leave the link to mc market and spigot in the description also the link to the spigot uploading a premium resource video as well in the cards on the top right so if you want it, you can decide between which one's harder to upload what you want to do now there are a few requirements on prices around both of these sites spigot's maximum price is 19.99 and their minimum price is 99 cents well, over here on MC Market, there is no maximum or minimum price. I believe the minimum price is one cent. But other than that, there is a max. There's no maximum price, so you can make your resource a hundred bucks if you really wanted to. As far as I know, I've never tested how much you can make a resource, but I would guess it's somewhere probably a hundred or so as the maximum resource price. So you do have a lot more room to change your prices on your resources on MC Market versus Spigot. So let's talk about some requirements that's required to upload your resource to MC Market. First, you need to go to an account upgrade. Now, you got to pay for either the Supreme Upgrade or the Premium. Now, if you just want to be able to uh, add prices to your resources and stuff, I would go with Premium. If you really want to support MC Market, go with Supreme. But I do recommend if you just want to upload resources, the minimum you need is the premium upgrade, which is for $10. So you do require a $10 purchase to be able to upload paid resources to MCM. That is required. There's nothing you can really do about it. That's how you get the ability to upload resources. So it's $10 to upload resources or $25 for Supreme. Both give you the permission to upload a resource. And then this process is pretty simple. You're going to click resources. So once your account's been upgraded, you're going to click resources. There's going to be a blue button that says add resource, just like Spigot is in our last Spigot video. Click add resource. Now you're going to select the uh, category. This is a little, sorry about that. This is a little different than what Spigot does. Um, so you, MC Market allows world setups, graphics, and all this extra stuff. Spigot only allows plugins. So in this case, let's upload a plugin. Click continue. Then everything's pretty much the same, but I'll go through a little bit of the difference that's different between them. You can set your title. For this, it's test. Virgin string, I put 0 0.1. Tagline, I am a test resource. I am making a video. Then, if you want to sell the resource, you need a pre uh, premium for this. Tick this. It's going to be a digital product. Enter your PayPal address. So, in my case, it's bjtpayments at gmail.com. Your license to take dur duration. So, this is different from Spigot. You can pick if you want. Let's say you want to give them one year of updates. So, you can set this to 365 days. You get for once you buy the plugin to download any updates to it. Or, and then if you do that, you can set a renewal price. So, the price, the average price, so this is your normal price, let's say $100. Or let's say $25 to make it more realistic. Your renewal price, let's say, will be $10 a year to get updates. So, if you want, if you don't want renewal enabled, just set this to zero. And then you get unlimited days for that. Set your terms of service. So if you leave this blank, it will automatically get what your terms of service from your seller dashboard. That's what you get access to when you upload a resource. So you can see licenses. You can manage licenses, which is a big difference than Spigot versus MC Market. Spigot does not allow you to remove licenses or edit them, see who bought them or anything. Spigot does not. MCM does. So that's something cool. Then you can upload your resource. Make sure it's all of the rules following. 
Now, this is one of the things that I very much enjoy uh, usage um, criteria. So if you take this box, um, if there, you can set what you need for the person who's buying the plugin to buy the plugin. So let's say you want no users. So let's say Rex can't buy this plugin. You can add Rex to the banned user list. So no one with the user, then Rexamon wouldn't be able to buy this plugin. Or if you want them to be registered for two days before buying the plugin, you can set this to two. So you have more choices on who's buying your pro your plugins, and then you can add them DM you if you don't want. Then you can put your supported MC version. So this could be like bug bug uh, bucket slash spigot. Your required ser server software. I'm gonna go spigot. Then your description. You're gonna enter your description here. Now this is where everything changes. You got tags. Put your tags in here. Then you got your crediting original. So this is going to be fork by noodles for BGHD development. So what this is saying is it was originally made by noodles for BGHD development. Any dependencies. So if you, this is where you're going to disclose your license system. So let's say this resource uses, I spelled resource wrong, uses a license system. It connects. I got a phone call. So it connects to the internet at the URL, and then you enter your URL. So let's say it's going off of our website. So that's saying this use this resource uses a license system. It requires to be connected to the internet and view this URL. So they so you're disclosing that you have your information and upload resource items. So what this would look like is if this was live right now, it would just pretty much be nothing because there's not that's what it would look like so it's pretty easy to add your plugin when you submit your plugin it's gonna look like this um, when you go to your resource page it will look like this little icon called moderated here so what this means is it's currently um, being reviewed by a moderator this will pop up if you're uploading a free or a paid plugin which is a little different than spigot spigot automatically accepts free plugins but paid plugins are reviewed here everything is reviewed so it only is reviewed the first time you upload it not every update so it probably takes a good one to two weeks for this to be approved there are a little they used to be way faster now that's a little slower but once it's approved it will not have that here and people will be able to see it and buy it and use it to their liking um that's pretty much it there's not much more you need to do it's pretty simple to do pretty easy to do if you have questions on how to do any of this feel free to join our discord server it's discord uh, bgxtdevelopment.com slash discord and we can help you through anything you need support on if you have ideas for future videos which hopefully you do please leave them in the comments so i can get some ideas and stuff to do also download our mobile app where you can get updates on our plugins new youtube videos and browse our full website with no issues download in the description. I will see you in the next video tomorrow. Goodbye.